Don't be scared. I'm the super sweet monster with the super sweet new cereal, Count Chocula. Careful. Here's the super sweet new cereal, Frankenberry. Count Chocula. Frankenberry. Hi. Ah! <gasps> Frankenberry. Count Chocula. Well. I'm back at it again with the next entry in my spooky videos for the month of October. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at the history behind the cereal monsters. Count Chocula, Frankenberry, Boo Berry, Fruit Brute, Yummy Mummy, and Carmella Creeper. And since there's a pretty solid lineup of characters being discussed in this video, I'll rank them all at the end based on how much I like their designs. Just saying that is giving me flashbacks to my Olympic videos. But before we begin, if you enjoy this content, a subscription and a like would be greatly appreciated. And feel free to leave a comment as to who your favorite serial monster is. And with that now out of the way, let's get into the video. In March 1971, yeah, March, nowhere near Halloween time, the Count Chocula and Frankenberry cereals were introduced, and on their box you could see their corresponding mascots, Count Alfred Chocula and Frankenberry. Yeah, the mascots in the uh, cereals have the same name. Now you may be wondering, why monsters? Well, horror-related characters like Dracula and Frankenstein were quite popular at this time. It's as simple as that. And General Mills wanted to cash in on this by creating monster-related cereals. The Count Chocula cereal is chocolate-flavored, and the Frankenberry cereal is strawberry-flavored. But I'm sure you probably could have guessed that by their names alone. Chocula and Frankenberry would also appear in television commercials. In these commercials, Chocula was voiced by Jim Dukas and Frankenberry was voiced by Robert McFadden. In the ads, Chocula and Frankenberry would argue over whose cereal was better. The duo would continue to argue until something ended up scaring them. Then the commercial would end. In their first commercial, they get spooked by this child. And this child's art style is pretty similar to that of the Peanuts comic series art style. And the reason that is, is because this commercial was animated by Bill Melendez, who worked extensively on the Peanuts television specials, and was the original voice actor for Snoopy and Woodstock. But they would eventually be scared by a new character, the legend himself, Boo Berry, whose cereal was also named Boo Berry, and was introduced in December of 1972, and the cereal was flavored blueberry, just like before you probably could have guessed what flavor it was by the name alone. And the Boo Berry cereal was actually the first blueberry flavored cereal. Boo Berry, like I said before, would appear in television commercials alongside Frankenberry and Count Chocula. And in the advertisements, he was voiced by Paul Freeze. Someone's come for a nutritious breakfast. What? Hello, my name is Boo. <laughs> Let me finish. Booberry, my ghostly good blueberry flavored cereal, Booberry. <laughs> and when he would appear in the ads, sometimes the commercial's dynamic would be a little bit different. Chocula and Frankenberry would argue, then Booberry would show up and talk about how great his cereal was. Then Chocula and Frankenberry would get rid of him in some way, but by the end of the ad, he would return and scare them. In 1974, the next monster cereal was introduced, Fruit Brute, whose corresponding mascot was also named Fruit Fruit Brute, and was a werewolf. Now the flavor for this cereal was just a generic fruit flavor, similar to Fruit Loops, but it included marshmallows. Oh yeah, I don't think I mentioned that. All of these cereals include flavored marshmallows. To get in on the popularity of Lucky Charms, the marshmallow flavors consisted of chocolate for Chocula, strawberry for Frankenberry, and blueberry for Booberry. Same flavor as the cereal. Now since Fruit Brute was not a specific flavor, the marshmallows would be flavored lime, which sounds absolutely nasty. I can't even lie. Just like all the other mascots, Fruit Brute would appear in ads and would fuss with the other monsters about how great his cereal was. He also had a unique gimmick where he would howl the word fruit. Marshmallows. Fruit! Fruit Brute with a howling good taste of fruit. I could not find who voiced him in these commercials, which makes sense, because his cereal was not as popular as the other three. Fruit Brute stuck around until 1982, which was when it was discontinued. Probably the lime marshmallow's fault. But General Mills did not let this stop them from introducing new monster cereals to the world. So in 1987, the next monster cereal was introduced, Yummy Mummy, whose mascot was named Yummy Mummy. Now this cereal's flavor was the same as Fruit Brute, 
but they got rid of the lime flavored marshmallows and replaced them with vanilla flavored marshmallows. It's new fruity yummy mummy cereal. Big yummy marshmallows. So monstrously big there. Monster mellows. With yummy mummy monster mellows. Fruity yummy mummy makes your tummy go yummy. <laughs> but his cereal was discontinued quicker than Fruit Brutes. The yummy mummy cereal only lasted for five years, being discontinued in 1992. So now the only monster cereals for sale would be the main three, and this would remain the same for a long time. But in commercials, much more emphasis was put on Count Chocula, so Boo Berry and Frankenberry appeared less frequently. Count Chocula even appeared in a live action commercial in 1991, and uh, he does not work in live action. Around the mid 90s, the cereals were just not as popular as they used to be. So General Mills was interested in creating a new mixed berry monster cereal. And this would of course need a mascot. But this new mixed berry cereal was never created. But there was some concept art of a possible mascot for the cereal that was created by Peter Bregman. Now design wise, Chocula, Frankenberry, and Boo Berry really did not change that much over the years. The first major change from what I can tell came in the late 80s, where they were redesigned to look like this. Which looks okay, I guess, but oh my lord, what happened to Boo Berry's proportions? Why are his arms and body so long? In the late 90s, they got a more drastic design change, and they looked like this. What. The. Oh hey look, it's Casper. In 2006, they looked like this. Then in 2009, the worst thing to ever happen came to pass. The monster cereals. Chocula, Frankenberry, and Boo Berry were made available only for a limited time each year around fall, which is how it's been ever since. The world has not been the same since then. But there were some noteworthy re-releases over the years. In 2013, Yummy Mummy and Fruit Brute came back, but thankfully, Fruit Brute's lime-flavored marshmallows were now cherry-flavored, and Yummy Mummy's vanilla-flavored marshmallows were now orange-cream-flavored. Around this time, the mascots on the boxes got a new look as well. In 2021, to celebrate the Cereal Monsters 50th anniversary, there was a new Monster Mash cereal released, which at first glance seems like a mix of all five cereals, but it was actually just Frankenberry and Boo Berry combined. In 2023, something a little crazy happened. A new monster cereal and mascot were created, and it was the first female in the group, named Carmella Creeper, who is a zombie and is also Frankenberry's cousin, and her cereal is flavored like caramel apples, which sounds interesting, I guess. Also, a new Monster Mash remix was released in 2023, which on the box included all six monster cereal mascots. So now we're brought to the year 2024, and there were actually some new characters added to the cereal monster lore, or should I say animals. Yeah, this year the cereal monsters have pets. And first of all, the original designs for the monsters were brought back for the box art, which is pretty neat. And since Carmella Creeper is new, she got a classic design to represent what she may have looked like if she was created back in the 70s. So now, let's get into the pets. Chocula has a pet spider named Igor. Frankenberry has a pet bat named Benny. Carmella Creeper has a snake named Scratch, and last but certainly not least, Boo Berry has a pet cat named Meowberry. And the monsters and their corresponding pets appear on the cereal boxes for this year. No Yummy Mummy or Fruit Brute though. Alright, so now it's ranking time. In last place, I think I'm gonna give it to Fruit Brute. Then Carmella Creeper in fifth place, Frankenberry in fourth, Chocula gets third, Yummy Mummy gets second, and of course, Boo Berry gets first. And I guess I might as well rank the pets too, so there you go. So sadly, it's now time to end this video, but if you did enjoy it, a subscription, a like, and maybe even a comment would be greatly appreciated. And with that, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.